Hi guys, this is Tracy from Living Your Stamps and welcome to another demonstration today. A demonstration with a difference because we have launched our brand new collection of stamps, a whole 19 stamps. Um, and I'm going to be demoing with two of those today. So I have picked the lovely Lupin and these are our hanging tree pods. So uh, I've got my Mortifarious and I'm going to be using the gel press today as well. I've got some brand new colours that we launched last week. This is Blue Atoll and we've got Green Sleeves. So I'm going to be popping those onto our gel press. This is our DL Oblong gel press. I'm going to use my brayer. First of all, I'm going to transfer this colour. This is Green Sleeves, which is a lovely, lovely sort of green yellow. I'm going to go over the whole thing with that to start with. And blue at all. I'm going to bring in a little bit of that colour on this side and just blend it over. I don't need much, just need a hint of colour. It's surprising what comes off the gel press. You don't actually think there's that much on there, but the colours really do uh, pop when they uh, come off that. So I'm going to use some water now and our fan brush. And what I'm going to do is just tap some water over the top. And this gives us a lovely effect when we take the print creating a lovely background, ready to stamp our lovely looping on. So, lots of tiny, tiny little spatters. And then I've got our multifarious card here. I'm going to pop that over the top, give that a smooth over. And then let's see what we've got. And there we've got a fabulous background. Love the colours. Let's put the gel press over there. I'm going to dry that off now. And I'm going to start with looping. So pop him on the board and then I'm going to ink up in the nocturne. So now take your time with this, sort of tap over a few times because the detail on this, it's really, really intricate stamp and all the shading on it are tiny, tiny little dots. So we want to make sure that all that is completely covered before we stamp down. I'm going to pop him down round about there. So give that a good press. And let's see what we've got. Now, as you can see, that lovely detail has all come out really nicely. And now I'm going to do the same thing with the pods. So this time I'm going to ink up in the twilight. I'm going to pop that down round about there. Again, give that a good press. And then we'll take the smaller one, this is part of the set, 
and I'm going to do the same thing there as well. So, and then I'm going to pop that a little bit higher. Okay. So taking some foliage now, I'm just going to bring a little bit more down in between. This time I'm going to ink up in the warm breeze. foliage here and we shall ink up this time in twilight so ink up and then just at the top there I'm going to make the color a little bit darker a little bit denser Taking one of our other new colours, this is dark denim, I'm going to use the stencil brush just to darken the top here. A little bit down the edge. softly softly around the hair at the bottom here trying to work your way around looping and not over the top foliage down at the bottom so I'm working with twilight so ink up and just bring in a little bit of foliage around him. Okay, so I'm going to bring in a little bit more colour onto Lupin. So I've got pap paprika here and I've got truffle. Now because these are water-based inks, it means I can use them as I would watercolour. So I'm just going to mix a little bit of that paprika with the truffle and I want to create a little bit of a sort of a reddy brown and then I'm going to just colour him in just a hint of colour I don't want it to be too overpowering Just follow that shading. There we 
we go. Okay, so you can see how much more it's jumped out now by just giving him that little bit of colour, following the shading, um, and just use that as your guide to give it a slightly darker colour, and it'll almost sort of 3D it. So I'm going to use Mermaid now. This is a lovely blue. And I'm going to pop that over the top of our pods. And again, this just makes them a little bit more three-dimensional. So let's dry that off. lamps at the side as well. Let's put the lids back on those. I'm going to ink up in the Nocturne. And I'll pop one there. denim here so I'm just going to ground loop in he doesn't look like he's floating I've got my pink Posca I'm going to pop a little bit down on my mat and I'm going to add a touch of the pink just in the middle of Lupin's ear and maybe a little just on his nose. I've got a little bit of white here as well. I'm just going to use a little of that for his tail. So remembering you can work with Poscas as long as they remain wet. Once they're dry, that's it, you can't move them. But if you can work with them with a bit of water, I think they just give a really nice hint of colour. So I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to the lamps. And a little bit of the white, just pull out some of that detail. Okay, so what else shall we do here? I think maybe we'll use a little bit of the stickles and we just follow that foliage down the card. The stickles always looks great against dark colours. Really does stand out. So a few little dots. Follow it down. 
So I'm just keeping that pressure on and just leaning on the card and just dragging down. I hope you can see that lovely glitter. And there we go. So, I mean, you could add some words, you don't have to follow this exactly, but this just gives you an idea of what you could create. Um, I hope you've enjoyed today's demonstration and I hope it's inspired you to have a go using some of the new stamps. You take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.